what we are going to do is break it down and take it step by step and you will see just how simple and intuitive these functions can really be so first things first we know that we want a filtered list of job titles only for the industry selected control shift and then And then comma and my filter range is from a three to a eight four two. Okay. And again, we are checking. do the records in that range equal the selected industry in j3 so whatever uh, industry has been selected here that has to be equal to this so here we will say equal to j3 and rem remember with uh, dynamic arrays fixed and relative self re cell references aren't quite quite as important as in the legacy excel because that was static array <laughs> but this is dynamic array so by default it will take care of the Uh, we were pressing F4 there, right? So we did not uh, take care of that. By default, it will take it on own. So now, so I'll close the parentheses. Sorry, I did not. Uh... So if I give here, let me give media. So you can see for media a type of industry all the job title has been uh, uh, listed out. So these uh, there are two job titles only that is a technical editor and producer. But uh, we can see there is a re repetition. Like how to remove this the uh, repetition is now we will use the unique uh, function. But we have since we have multiple in instances because uh, remember the filter function is iterating row by row, and uh, it's saying hey look for cases where co column A equals media, and then return the title from the next column. So it will do for each and every row. So we are seeing the multiple uh, instances, which is uh, right here. It is saying okay this row meets the uh, criteria. Keep it. This row meets it. so it is giving all that technical editor these many times so to avoid that what we can do is we can use the unique so we just need one instance of each and to create that array will well we need a unique function so just like our last demo we can wrap the formula we have already written in another one So in this case, we are going to wrap this filter function in a unique function. We will wrap this in a unique function. Just write unique, and press enter. You can see it is going. It is giving only two entries. That is technical editor and the producer. So this is how you can. what to say you can uh, combine the three functions that is a unique filter you have done so now and last but not the least these are sorted in the source order which happens to be reverse uh, alphabetical 
If you want to sort this in an alphabetical manner, we can do that. Then we can wrap this function once again in the sort. We can see it has sort the order according to the alphabetical order. So the producer and the technical editor are the two jobs for that. So if you want, we can give the data validation here. So data and validation in this. So no problem here. Uh, this is different, uh, so we are not able to see. If we give the data validation, we can give the we can scroll to that particular this thing and we can uh, we can get the data for that So next is so now we'll see referencing spill ranges in calculation. What is that about? So all right. So for this demo, we are going to stick on the same Excel. We are in, in the combining sort filter and uh, other functions also. In the last couple of demos, we created this drop down list by creating the sorted uh, data tools. Where will be the validation here? Okay, here is the data validation. Okay, list. Source, we want to pick it from. Okay. This is only medium. Okay, no problem. So next up, what we want to do is actually add a calculated value, in this case, uh, uh, average salary based on each of these job titles. So in our array here in column, I now re re remember that 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 our raw data is actually at the title and city level. So what that means is that for any individual title, we may see multiple salary values because different uh, cities uh, co command different salaries. 
and so that means we need to use some sort of conditional function like some ifs average ifs to boil down or aggregate those multiple records into one single value that we can populate here in column j so don't worry if you're not understanding while doing the practical you will get to know and in this case what we want to do is calculate the average salary across cities so for